mountain. Amen. Praise the Lord. One more river to cross. Amen. I'm going to give it over to Bishop in a few minutes. Give it just a little bit. But I refuse to give up. Glory. I refuse to sit down. God. Praise the Lord. God given just reiterated my regenerated my spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I but who can do you like Jesus? Nobody can do you like Jesus. Amen. I will just sit in your tent doors. Amen. And pray for me. Third chapter of St. John. Amen. I got one more river to cross you. And nobody can help me to cross. Glory. But the last one that they, he called on was Jesus. Amen. And the only one I know. Yes. That the power and the strength to do what we need to be done to us. And the book of God giving me this word about three weeks ago. He knows. I don't know. Amen. Praise the Lord. You, you can stand. You can sit. I feel like running. I feel all right right now. Amen. All right. Let's, let us pray. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus. Once again, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your giving me strength. Thank you for your wisdom and your knowledge that you're going to speak through me this morning. We ask you, oh God, that you would just bless this place. Bless our coming in and our going out. Have that own way, God. I don't know, but you know, Lord. I'm just a vessel for you. I'm just made a better for you. I stand before your presence with thanksgiving yeah. in my heart. Thank you for Allowing me yet to be in the land of the living. And I give you praise and I give you honor. And I give you all the glory that belongs to you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. Amen. Amen again. Amen. In the book of St. John, praise the Lord. We're going to ask Alan to get ready to read for us. Amen. amen. And you want, we're going to look at the word must. Glory to God. That's what God given me. That's something that's necessary that we need. Yes, he told Nicodemus, you must be born again. You must. Look at somebody and say, I must see Jesus, I must see Jesus. For, myself. for myself. That's our topic. I must see him. You can't help me to cross. Only one going to help me to cross is Jesus. All right. And I got to see him for myself. Now we ask Elder to read. Start from the first. Okay, let's go on. What chapter? Uh, third, third chapter of St. John. John. Third chapter of St. John. Right. Glory to God. In the book of John, praise the Lord God speak. Go ahead. We're going to see what he's going to say. First verse. There was a man of the Pharisees. There was a man of the Pharisees. Named Nicodemus. Named uh, Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. He was a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night. Don't, don't take me too fast. The same, he came to Jesus by, by night. He had his reason, amen, for doing that, but that wasn't the way that God wanted him to do. Amen. He came to Jesus by night. And what did he say? Said unto him, Rabbi. He said to God, Rabbi. We know that thou art a teacher. We know that you're a teacher. Come from God. Came from God. For no man can do these miracles. He recognized that nobody could do this but Jesus. That thou dost. That thou judge. Except God be with him. Except God be with you, you're not going to cross over Jordan. Let me tell you right now, you must be born again. Amen. All right. And you got to see Jesus. That's such topic. You got to see Jesus for yourself. Amen. I, my husband can't do it for me. I realize that I got to get up and do something for myself. Amen. You must be. You must be. The word must is imperative. It's a need. Amen. I need something from God. Yes, sir. And it's a state of being without. I'm without something. I need. It's necessary that I see Jesus like the woman at the well. She touched 
The hymn of it coming. It was necessary for her to push her way through the crowd. Because she needed something from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We be pushing and shoving everything else, but you need the Holy Ghost. And the only way that you can get to Jesus, you got to do it for yourself. Amen. It was necessary for him, he thought, to come to Jesus by night. Whatever his reason, he didn't want nobody to know, amen, because he was of, of the Jews. And he didn't want nobody to know it. So just like people at, at night, they want to do things in the dark where nobody can't see them. Lord. We got to come Praise to the light. Praise. Who is that light? That light is Jesus. Amen. And then we see here, let me reread it. The same came to Jesus. He was a ruler. Had very well high education. Everything, amen, was a, a, a good stood in the books. He knew a lot. He taught a lot. But he was missing something. Amen. He was without the Holy Ghost. Amen. So he came to Jesus by night, searching. He knew it was something that he it was missing. So he decided to not to let his friend know, and he felt that he could go alone, that he could talk to Jesus. Right. He came to Jesus by night. And he said, and Jesus answered and said it to him, Verily, verily, means truly, look here, truly, truly, I say unto thee, I'm going to tell you like it is, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Right, Pick up right. Galatians 6 and 15. 6, 15. Must be the parity. Hallelujah. The for, obligation of our read. For in Christ Jesus. For in Christ Jesus. Neither circumcision. No, neither circumcision. Availeth anything. Availeth anything. Nor uncircumcision. No uncircumcision. But a new creature. But you got to become a new creature. Any man that born. Of a woman on the dead. The joke declared only for a few days and for the trouble. Amen. But we must see Jesus for ourselves. Yes, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got to come to him because it's necessary. Yeah. I can't do it for you. That was the right song he sung this morning. Jordan River. We got to cross it. Nobody can do it for you. It's a next necessity that you come to Christ. You come as humble as you know how and ask him to feel me and forgive me for my sins. Romans 6 and 8, 6, 10. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grave may abound? God forbids it. Yeah. And how shall we that are dead to sin live in all of therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized unto his death? Amen. Like as Christ was raised from the dead from the by the glory of yeah. the Father, even we also should walk yes. in the newness yeah. of life. Yeah. Read ever. Third verse. Uh huh. Jesus answered and said unto him. He answered him. Verily, verily. Verily, verily. I say unto thee. I say unto thee. Except a man be born again. Except a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom. He of God. cannot see the kingdom of God. I got one more for you. First John three nine. This is from above. This is not earthly. Thank God for uh, Sister Morrison. Whosoever is born of God, whosoever is born of God, does not commit sin. Does not commit sin. For his seed, his seed remaineth in him. Is remains in him. And he cannot sin. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. Because he's born of God. 
If you hear that, reread it. He that commits sin. He that commits sin. Read. It's of the devil. If you keep on committing sin, it's just like a cot. You're putting a cot where you commit that. He that committed sin is of the devil. Amen. Read. For the devil sinned from the beginning. He is a liar and a sinner from the beginning. For this purpose. For this purpose. The Son of God was manifest. The Son of God was manifest. That he might destroy the works of the that devil. That he might destroy the works of the devil. For the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary. Well, she became pregnant with a child. That he shall save his people from their sin. Yeah, the baby that she was carrying. Amen. Born of the Virgin Mary. That was Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He came that you and I might have life. And have it more abundantly. Yes, Lord. Why should I be bound? Mm. Much. Let me work on this a little bit. <laughs> it's a much. Something that's necessary. Yes, Lord. It's unavoidable. There ain't no way, other way that you can get to heaven. You must be born again. Amen. How do you do it? Up the water and up the spirit. All right. Thank you, Jesus. That they have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give others. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You are to be under necessity. It's your obligation to get down there. I remember when my former pastor, they, they tell, put us around the altar to call on that great name. And we began to say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Say it till you get it. Don't get up until you get it. Glory be to God. Ah, the Holy Ghost is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Well, oh, God, it's a need. And when you need it, then you should stay up being without something. Amen. Something that's necessary for you. The Holy Ghost. People running. Trying to uh, do everything without the holding up. I want to know, let them know that it's in vain. Amen. Except you have the Holy Ghost. It's necessary. Amen. It's something absent. Lack. Mm. All right. Needful. Want. It's a shortage. A power. It's imperative. Hallelujah. It's mandatory that you must be born again. Glory. It's impossible, impossible to do without. It's necessary. Glory to God. What it does is bring back you to the former, bring you back to the former state. Regeneration brings you back to a form of a condition to make or to become fresh. Look at somebody. Just raise your hand to the Lord. To this is to the Lord. Lord, revive us again. Lord, revive us again. Means to bring back to life. I'm hurting. I've been down for a long time. Oh, but I'm coming out you, in the name of Jesus. Revive means to bring back life practice, activity. I used to go down to the church house, and I used to call on that great name. Power is in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Without that power, you like it something. The act or instant of bringing something back. Life again. If you have fallen away from Christ, He is the revivalist. We look for a lot of revivalists. <laughs> but well, there ain't but one. Your river, I'm bound to cross. Well, somebody said, I got one more river. One more river. 
rose. 